Just a quick one for everyone. Uh, the Alberta Bill of Rights is a very hot topic right now amongst uh, the political environment and those who are all chiming in uh, in support or not support. Um, the reality is we don't actually have enough information to make a decision as to whether or not the proposed changes to the amendment uh, or the amendments to be made to the Bill of Rights is good or bad because it is... Uh, unknown. Uh, Danielle Smith hasn't really given us anything to go on. There is no legal language around what she's proposing to do as far as the changes. I mean, there are already certain rights in Canada as far as gun ownership um, through licensing and registration. Um, there's already ownership uh, rights and protection of fair compensation and due process as it relates to uh, property. Um, you know, there have been some changes made as far as protecting um, individuals for forced vaccinations and Justin Trudeau himself will argue, wrongly so, but will make an argument that he's never forced anybody to have a vaccine. So, you know, until we have more information, um, we do not know whether or not we can support these proposed changes to the Alberta Bill of Rights because we don't know what the changes are. Um, is this a, a step in the right direction, indicating that there's changes coming? Absolutely. But you cannot use language like reasonable or deemed necessary or necessary, demonstrably necessary, etc. That's not a right. That is now left to somebody's interpretation. And whose interpretation is that going to be left to? The government's. It's going to be the government's rules, the government's regulations, the government's interpretation through the judiciary and through the laws. So until we see what is actually written on paper, it is very, very challenging to say whether or not you can support the Alberta Bill of Rights. Um, or reject them. So if Danielle is sincere, you know what, release what is intended, um, what it is that you're proposing, put it on paper, allow people to assess it, and only then are we going to be able to make a determination as to whether or not this is a step in the right direction, or if it's just another, um, I hate to call it gaslighting, but in essence, if this is just nice pretty words, um, sort of shifted around and made public for the benefit of the leadership review, then it'd be very disappointing. I want to see real change. I want to see real protections. Uh, I want to see the rights of the individuals protected against their own government. And that is what I'm looking for. And that is what hopefully we will see. But unfortunately, at this stage, that cannot be determined. Bless y'all.